speaker. Now I request Mr. Vignesh S, Manufacturing and Quality Manager from D. Kedris, Chennai, who will be presenting on composite applications for drones and assistive technologies. So I request all the audience to get ready to explore the fascinating world of composites in this cutting edge fields. So let give a warm welcome to Mr. Vignesh as he shares his insights with us. You welcome Mr. Vignesh. Thank you sir for the coordinating uh, session for conferencing conference. So myself uh, Vignesh yes, from Decorates Biometer. Actually we are a startup uh, placed in Chennai. So today we will be discussing on topics of uh, composites and their uh, applications in uh, applications of uh, Yeah, assistive technology and then drones. So as I said, we decorate as a startup company. We are started in uh, 21st, like uh, 2021, uh, mid of uh, year. Actually, we are into the like, development of uh, scratch to end product development, uh, like uh, designing and then providing a uh, FES software service and then manufacturing components which are related to like uh, drone frames or like some other components related to the, the client requirement. So to see it and all that, so we are providing design services. In recent days, we have developed our own drone with the individual of uh, state of art of design, and then with respect to the design, and then we have provided a client requirement as we came there. So which is like a, we met up with a client who has requirement of uh, uh, client design like uh, so. So yes, I think a lot of almost slides will be seen. So in right you can see the image of a seed base. As I mentioned, our client was one of a uh, physically challenged person. He came with the query that so he need to adjust the mechanism of uh, height adjustment in the wheelchair. So we, we have designed the mechanism of a uh, simple respiratory seed base using the software called launch shape, and then we have commissioned it using an uh, aluminum material. Secondly, we are using a software called Midas NFX which is a Korean software. So actually we can do all kind of uh, like uh, structural or uh, thermal fluid, every kind of uh, analysis using the software. So here you can see the sample images of, uh, we have done FEA for the drone what we have developed. So we initially started with the concept of uh, making a drone and then we moved it to a modification of uh, like a doing CAD model and then we have done some structural analysis which uh, with a payload of around uh, 2 kgs. And with respect to services in it composite, so initially we started with small projects like making some hack stiffness using a GFRP and a CFRP where we understood of all the applications and how beneficial the components can be strengthened. And then we moved to the fabrication of a uh, diesel with one of our client who has a requirement of making a beta uh, takeoff landing mechanism. And then we have met with the client of making some natural fibers. So the purpose of the client was they are going to replace some components using natural fibers in submarines. So for that purpose we have uh, procured some natural fibers and then we have prepared some uh, test tubes so that uh, we can uh, provide the tensile values whether the component can stand the loading or not. So what is the absorption rate for natural fibers? So these kind of studies we have done. And moving from that, so we have developed some of our own products for our company. So in the uh, morning sessions, we are like uh, Sarmakshar and then our panel members told, so we are not having that much awareness in composites for the students and their data life people. So as you know, the big players like uh, they are, uh, some of the components are having not even composites. So what we have made is like we are making some drone like a CFRP, RSGFRP, like a hybrid plates, and then we are providing it for the student kind of uh, support or else if any uh, client is having a requirement of making some car bumpers or some kind of projects and these are the client requirement. Apart from that, we have made some pendant and keychains. So you guys know, it is like a normal keychain kind of thing. So to bring awareness of carbon composites, we have introduced this one mechanism. And coming to the point, so we have developed our uh, own product called Dizikane. So initially when we started our, our uh, startup company, we had a vision of having 50% social cost 
and the 50 percent with respect to the like aerospace. So as you all know from till morning, mainly people are focusing on like aerospace and then like different sectors. But we got them doing some social jobs to the people also. So as you all know, we have recent technologies in so many uh, like sensors and things are there. But still, as you can see, blind people like visually impaired people in the roadsides. So they are not having such achievements which can assist them for like transportation or navigation kind of thing. So from that motivation, we have a community support called at this game. So we have done some user case studies and then we understood their need and then we have integrated some sensors. Along with that, the walking stick, what they are using, it is actually made of aluminum tube. So it's not uh, normally costing around 250 rupees to 300 rupees. The thing is, they are not having standard quality. So the user has to go through uh, like uh, buy a new stick each and every six months. So that is right now of a stick. So we thought of replacing the aluminum tube with the carbon fibers. The thing as you all know, so our speaker is also told, the issue with compost exists, the cost effectiveness. So the cost is very high. So we thought of uh, reducing the cost somehow with the local manufacturing and then providing it to the all, uh, like all end users. So where we have faced the difficulties are like, so when we are doing this kind of R&D for new product development for the social cost, so we are finding difficulty of getting low minimum, uh, minimum order quantity. So if I go for a supplier where I can get only a quantity of around minimum 20 meter length of tubes, so that kind of procurement is a bit difficult for startup kind of us. So if leading companies who are already in the market for the past couple of decades, they come down and support us doing like R&D, so we can sign some MOUs, so far like we can do some this kind of R&D once it comes success, we can regularly get the metal from your side, so which will be helpful for, helpful for us. So as you can understand, so one square meter, like a one meter of tube will be our cost around 3,000, 4,000 meters of dimension thickness. So that is a difficulty we faced, and then now we are all coming, so we have uh, made some a couple of product sample, so which is under user, uh, like uh, testing is going on. So once it is done, we are looking for the leading companies to support this in developing these kind of products with respect to social costs. And secondly, we have discussed about drone. So we have developed an individual drone. So it is completely in a set of art of design what we have made from inside. So here, as the panelists discussed, so nowadays, with respect to the past de uh, decades of experience, now we are having somewhat raw materials and then some manufacturing techniques like manufacturing, like a hand layer method or hard thrust, some techniques are there. But yet, we can able to do some flat components or some component. Uh, the issue with the process is we can't go for post processing. We are facing very much difficulty in the post processing. As you mentioned, we can see any number of lathe companies are there, CNC companies are there. Everything I wouldn't know playing a major role in the making of metallic components. So it's the still the composite, the world, which is new for the local suppliers. As you know, the leads are there, the big scale companies, they have their own machines, their own equipments, inbuilt uh, mechanisms, or else like they are exporting. But for small companies or medium scale companies, still they are not aware of the composites. So they are not ready to take the risk. They don't want to invest something separately for the carbon fiber. So still we are facing the uh, issues of force causing. In recent days, there are one or two cutting supplies are there, who are like uh, dry cut supplies like uh, wet, uh, wet cutting and dry cutting. Wet cutting in the sense we are going for water gel cutting, where the cost of cutting is very much high. To make a single dome, we are going to spend the amount of making a dome plate is around it is going to cost 3000, but the cutting cost is around 6000. It is twice the rate of the raw material cost. So that's where the cost of the drones and the flying mechanisms are going high. So we would request uh, the companies to go for a betterment of uh, support in that uh, part. So I think uh, I'm a bit rushing up because time is going on and then uh, past of my presentation has been made uh, simple because of the panelist members who have discussed in the last session. So they all discussed the points. So that's where it's coming from. So uh, I think uh, the best of the experience, they have well observed the uh, difficulties what startups are facing. As I mentioned, the best startup of two years and these are the difficulties where we are facing so much. So here you can see the dome where we have all over and then it's just playing in house.
So here in this is actually this inner spacing, so we are just taking for the forward and backward motion and sideways motion. So we are not lifting that much side because it is a uh, inner spray. Actually, this frame is actually made of a normal hand laid method. We didn't go for hard press or vacuum erasing machine. This plate is only made of normal hand laid method. In our coming days, we are planning to go for like uh, to get more, some more against it. We are planning to use the hard press or as erasing machine method. So as we said, uh, discussed about minus and things which is similar to ANSYS and some other national production software. So we can do all kind of uh, structural and thermal fluid all kind of analysis. So we are also a detailed center of this minus and effects software. So if anyone is interested in uh, like knowing some details about uh, the software, so when we compare in the market, as we when compared to ANSYS and some other softwares, the cost is very effective and very less. So it is having multiple features. So if anyone is interested, we can have a direct session. So to discuss about much more in the Individual sessions because I don't want to take much of time today. So, on the one of our partnering companies are like a few companies are there in Chennai, and then few companies are like a government DC, so one of our you want to in UK. So, and apart from these things, in first place, we are just from, I'll just go back to the first point. So, here you can see the big portion. So, here you can see a term called the Compost Workshop. So as the panelist members said, so the most of the people are not having awareness of composites. So in recent days, because of the growth of drones, some people like medium scale or startup like us are coming to know about composite. So what we are doing here, like we are starting now, we have initially started a workshop for one day composite workshop. So almost we have brought out 10 colleges in you know, like South Party, Tamil Nadu, and Mandar Pradesh. So next we are focusing to attack in our place also. So the main focus is for the composite workshop is for the college second year or third year students who are yet to study about the compost meter. So probably the subject will be a third year. So we are focusing on second and third years. So well, before entering the subject, they will have some awareness of composite. What is composite? So how it goes for industries? What are the scope of the work like for them after completing the colleges? So we are giving some pre-knowledge. So after with respect to pre-knowledge, once they get into the subject, they will get some more interest and then we are moving uh, like uh, probably enthusiasm for them to work on the drones or else it may be not only respect to the drones or space, but how we can use composite day to day life. So we are implanting those kind of technologies to uh, like ideas to the college students. So yet we are uh, planning to do some uh, workshops for in uh, nearby college also. So we are expecting support from you guys. And then if needed, we can provide some uh, one day hands workshop for your uh, colleagues or your companies also. So thank you. Thank you all. Sir, here we went for both hybrid one. So here we uh, actually the thickness of the frame is around 2 mm. So we went for four layers of carbon and four layers of glass to achieve a nominal weight. So if only go for the glass, as you know, when compared to carbon, the glass is a bit brittle. So the pale, when we carry a payload or a heavy, there is a heavy dust wind, so there is a possibility that the drone pilot can lose their like a kind of get some issue there. When the drone crashes, it's pretty easily broken. So to attain balance, to attain the cost of interest, we went for a hybrid one. So I think this is made of carbon, like outside, for a better finish, and inside we went for glass one. Yes. Have you heard about ultra high molecular weight fibers? Sorry, sir? Have you heard about ultra high molecular weight fibers? Um, no, sir. No, sir. I think that may be cheaper than carbon fiber. Okay. okay. That can be also a one of the options there. Obviously, I will make one of them. Thank you, sir. Thank you.